So I went after seeing you guys last year at FHL, raised my price, found that customer, that $2,000 customer. Nice. Everything's great. How do you go back to the people that when you thought that you had to lowball everything and you just wanted to get a bunch of people into your program and now the Facebook group, they're always the ones that show up that have an answer for everything, but they don't do <laughs> anything in their business. <laughs> so the newer, yeah. higher price persons came. What kind of group? How do, how do you go in and politely fix stupid? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I call it value ladder education. And so what I do is, like if you guys go to capitalistcoaching.com, my whole value ladder is there. My whole value ladder is in the footer of every one of my funnels now. It's in the footer of every email. And what I'm doing is I'm letting people know about these prices ahead of time. You're gonna have 80% of them just fall out, which is fine. And uh, probably go for cheaper stuff. And then there's gonna be a, a group of people though who will work to try to become eligible to buy from you at higher prices as well. That's a great customer. So, but in that, what I did was because we do this a lot in the beginning, is I grandfathered them in at their renewal price. So there's some people that are grandfathered at, let's say, 275 a year, sure. and now everyone else is grandfathered or coming in at 997 a year. Is it, should I do a, I mean, I've, I, you know, I'm pretty straightforward. Like, you know, I go in and just tell people, look, you guys are bringing down the value of the group. You're lowering my brand. I mean, I tell them this stuff. And, and, you're, and you're they're, more they're, responding, they're responding well to it, but how do you, how do you finally get someone to come in and say, look, if you want to be here, I deal with musicians, so sometimes you just got to be honest. I launched Taylor Swift's career, and she loved being punched in the face. So, Man's the man. Uh, so th the thing is, is that at some point, they're not doing themselves any good if I baby them. But also, too, you want to walk on kit gloves, but to say, look, dude, the other people coming in right now are paying two grand. You pay 200 Step it up. Yeah. You know, I mean. So when Russell closed Funnel Hacks, it was part of that reason that he was doing that. So what we did was we wanted to launch Funnel Builder Secrets for two grand. Funnel Hacks was 1000 And so all we did is we created a second tier, and that, that's how we do it. If you structure it as a different product, way easier. New message, new product, so much easier than, than increasing price of the existing thing. Um, uh, Ready Fire Aim talks about that. It's like, hey, the moment you have an awesome killing offer, just keep making more offers rather than raising the price of the existing. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.